Question 15. One sheet of paper is 9 times 10 to the minus 3 centimetres thick. That's standard form. Mark wants to put 500 sheets of paper into the paper tray of his printer. The paper tray is 4 centimetres deep. That's 500 sheets. Is the paper tray deep enough for 500 sheets of paper? You must explain your answer, which, which means we're going to do some working out and then we're going to say something at the end. You can't just put yes or no. So remember, when I said this was standard form, standard form is a way of writing numbers where you start with a number, a, a digit, uh, sorry, forget that. Start with a number that's in between 1 and 10, but not 10, and then you always have times by 10 with a power of it. Okay? So 9 times 10 to the minus 3 actually means 9 divided by 10 three times. So if I wanted to write that number as a normal number, it would be, there's 9. If I want to divide that by 10 three times, and the reason it's divided is because 10 to the minus 3. Remember, 10 to the minus 3 is the same as 1 over 10 to the power of 3. Yeah? 10 to the power of 3 means 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000. So that number there is actually 1,000th. So 9 times 1,000th yeah, is the same as 9 divided by 1,000. So 9 divided by 10. Divide by 10. Oops, divide by 10. So 1, 2, 3. So point there, 0 there, 0 there. So 0.009. That's what that number actually is. That's the uh, thickness of one sheet of paper. Mark wants to put 500 sheets of paper. So what we're basically going to do is do 500 and multiply it by the thickness of one piece of paper. So um, let's use, you could use that number there or you could use that number there, it doesn't really matter. So, if I was going to use that one, this is what I'd do. I'd put uh, 500 times 9 times 10 to the minus 3. Now, 500. If I take that bit there and first multiply it by 100, remember that's 10 times 10. So you would end up with 9 times 10 to the minus 1. So 9 times 10 to the minus 1. That's only times it by 100, so you're still going to times it by 5, which would give us 5 times 9, which is 45 times 10 to the minus 1, which basically means 45 times, and then 10 to the minus 1 is 1 over 10. So 45 times a tenth which is the same as 45 divided by 10, which is 4.5 centimetres. So 500 sheets of paper would be 4.5 centimetres. The paper tray is 4 centimetres deep. Is it deep enough? No. So you're going to say, is the paper tray deep enough for 500 sheets of paper? So it is not deep depth deep enough as 500 sheets of paper will be 4.5 oops 4.5 centimeters high and I'll do okay so that's if I was going to multiply the uh, the standard form by 500 if you wanted to turn the standard form into that number there, you could have just done 0.009 times by 500, which you end up with pretty much the same kind of thing. You've got, in fact, it's pretty harder this way. If you want to balance up the decimals, you could cross off, so divide this by 100 and multiply this by 100. So you end up with 0.9. Yep, times by 100, yes, 0.9, divide by 100, times 5. So you end up with doing uh, 9 times 5 is 45. And there's one decimal place, so you get the same thing.
it's up to you which method you want to use. Whatever you find easier.